Good morning. Which coffee cup? I'm gonna go classic and clear. Whatever's in the back of this is my biggest new giant surprise. How's it going? It's been like a few weeks since I filmed a YouTube video, which I usually like to post every two weeks or so. I think it's been three-ish, four-ish weeks. Not acceptable. I've been working on the secret project, which I showed a glimpse of a second ago, and that's launching in January, but I've just been nonstop with that. But today's gonna be fun. We're going to, um, Dill, is it Long Beach? Yeah, we're going to Long Beach, me and Dylan, and his mom, my future mother in law. I'm just kidding, that's like so weird for me to say that. We're all gonna go to like these canals and they do all these Christmas lights. So I was like, we could do just, I don't know, I feel like this should just be like a Hallmark Christmas movie vlog, sort of. I mean, I have the PJs to like, it's kind of a vibe. These are Victoria's Secret, I'm obsessed. But, we're just gonna like hang around and head there around noon, have a fun day, and make it super holiday and festive. Dylan's playing Xbox. What game are you playing? Call of Duty. Also, let me interview you really quick. Some people on TikTok were getting mad that you're playing, oops, sorry, <laughs> Xbox in a cabinet, when I thought it was a great idea because it like hides it. What are your thoughts about it, like honestly? Yeah, I think it's fine. It's pretty brutal glare, but... Oh, it's a bad glare. We'll get some curtains. Get some curtains then. It's nice because I'll put it away after every use almost. So yeah. I'm less likely to play. Hmm. Plus he like does calls here all day and we're like meetings and stuff. So it kind of works that we just... Show some of the photos that are in my background when I do phone calls. This is in the background while he does his big business calls. Tons of business gets done in here. Tons. Loads, even. A little bit of skincare. Cindy Riley, I talk about this stuff all the time. Okay, we're gonna make pancakes this morning. Since it's a little Saturday morning. Um, but I have chocolate and then apple cinnamon. Maybe I'll try to get rid of the apple cinnamon. How much is left? I think it's like to here. And maybe I'll cut up some bananas and throw it in here so it's like banana pancake. Okay. Have I told y'all what my dad used to do? I don't know if I have. But every sleepover I would have like a little summer party and stuff. The next morning my dad would get up at like literally like 6 a.m. And he would do this thing, it's called Flippin' Crazy. I feel like maybe I have told this, whatever. Um, but he'd make pancakes and me and all my friends would line up with our little plates and we'd have syrup on it so it sticks and he would he'd say, Flippin' Crazy, woo! And like we'd have like music going on, he'd like make his hair into a little mohawk, like a small one because he doesn't have a lot of hair. But um, we'd like catch the pancakes like on our plates and it was like so much fun. Um, and then if you didn't catch it, then he'd be like, throw it back on the pan. The germs will burn off. And we'd be like, okay, that's what we did. I feel like it was so fun. Like all my friends would be like, can we please come over and do flipping crazy like at your house? Like that would be so fun. Men's. I also don't know if this is enough pancake mix, but we'll see. It's just two of us, I guess. Uh oh, oh crap. I also don't have the spray oil, so I'm just like pouring it on. Uh oh. This is not gonna end up well. Somebody please tell me why I cook, like I'm cooking for like the entire Duggar family or something. Like, this is so many pancakes and it's just me and Dylan. I feel like because I was an only child, like if I'm cooking for any more than just me, I assume that I need to make the entire box of pancakes. So, we have 12. No, more than that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 or 14 pancakes, so. Yeah. Taste test. I was worried the sausage was old. Does it taste old? No, it's good. Did you put bananas in here? Yeah. 
Are you excited about today? <clears throat> Going to my hometown, Long Beach, stand up. So we went before COVID. Yeah. And we like walked Canals. around, we even made friends. We did? <laughs> he literally doesn't remember anything. It's an ongoing thing. Like he'll be like, I'll be like, yeah, I love like dill pickle chips. He's like, oh, I've never had those before. And then his mom comes here and she's like, Dylan, you literally grew up eating dill pickle chips. Like that's like what we had. And she even brought him over. She's like, Dylan, you've definitely had these. But he says it's because he played football that he like actually has a hard time. So like, I don't know. No, I don't think so. I did forget the door code the other day. That was weird. I'm just gonna show y'all kind of what I've been doing with my makeup. I've been loving like the like very natural type of vibe but like enhancing like your wing and like your brows and I don't know just kind of like enhancing does that make sense like I might even throw in like a really good nose contour with pretty natural makeup I've also been liking using a brush I don't know if it looks much different I usually use a beauty blender or a beauty sponge um but I don't know, I like used a brush the, the other day because I was too lazy to use my beauty blender and I was like, wait, this is like kind of a vibe. But I also just like switching up my makeup and trying different things, you know? Also, I was in a funk for like a few weeks and I think it made me literally physically sick. Like when I said I like, got this like weird stomach bug thing um but i was like having like insomnia and stuff like multiple nights like zero sleep like wake like literally it was like 4 a.m and i was like okay i'm just not gonna be able to sleep tonight and like got up this really long shoot day i did which i love shoot days and stuff like that but if i'm like tired i'm just like such a zombie which most people are um but i didn't sleep at all the night like that night and then I had makeup starting at five and then we shot till six and then I had to drive all the way back to San Diego and I got home at 10 p.m. So it was like and then I didn't sleep at all the night before so I was just exhausted for like a while content wise I was like I'm just like not on my a game I don't know luckily I'm out of my funk and it feels so good like I think the days that I'm out of my like funk or whatever and honestly it's probably linked like to hormones somehow um but as soon as i'm out of it i'm like i'm literally singing around my house like in such a good mood because i'm just so grateful to like feel like myself you know but it's funny on social media like you don't really see that part on socials and stuff like i if i'm like not feeling myself i just like literally don't post about anything um because i feel like if i speak it out to the world that i'm in a funk then it makes me even more in a funk. I ever even want to tell my mom like, hey, I'm just like not feeling it. Like I just am like, it's better just to like go MIA for a second and then come back when I'm my best self. Um, I saw this girl JC say the other day, it was like, um, you don't get to your crushing it era without your flop era. And I was like, I get that. That's like a for real thing. I also want my eyebrows to kind of be more like this a little bit. And go so down, like down low. Be nice if, like I could like shape them differently. Also, this girl like messaged me and she was like, "You're you need help with your eyebrows. Like I could totally transform your face." And it like stuck with me, and I like think about it all the time. But so maybe this is not an original thought. Maybe this is just from what somebody told me. Okay, it looks silly right now, but I've been using this little contour lipstick. I'm sure you could do this with like a cream bronzer too. And like ever so slightly like outlining my lips with it. And then I'll blend a little. Oh, it's a vibe. This is um bobble. It's in cursive. It's in like very like cursive y cursive. Does that make sense? It's a lip contour wand. By bubble. Bibu. Bibu. Okay, I have T minus 20 minutes. I'm kind of freaking out. But my newest latest trick is taking literally like not even wet beauty blender this from hourglass i'm telling you there's something that is so stunning about bouncing this it's like so pink i don't know if you can tell but it's like 
I don't know, I feel like it just packs it on really well. It's like dry kind of. Love this, this is in the shade Incandescent Electra. So I just did like a rough draft of my hair, drawing side part, little ponytail. And then if I want, I could just tuck it so it kind of has that like edgy, whatever. I mean, it's definitely like bumpy and gross, but we have 10 minutes, so we have to go, so. So it's gonna be slightly chilly and I have this little like pullover thing. I have this kind of like varsity looking jacket. I have a nice jacket. And then I have this sweatshirt, which I just feel like would be easy. It says Seattle, I've never been there, but I just thought it was kind of cute. So maybe I'll try this on and we'll see. I had this sweatshirt for like a year or over a year and I've never worn it and I'm literally obsessed with it. I feel like this is really cute and chill. Um, hopefully I don't get too hot, but I'm just gonna pack a bunch of stuff in my little suitcase. Here's the quickest what's in my suitcase like ever. Um, some jackets, PJs, stuff to wear tomorrow, a shirt just in case I wanna change into something dressier, toothpaste, extra jeans that are like less baggy, uh, makeup, and a cardigan and a charger. Made it. So right now they're showing us the boat that we could borrow. Maybe we'll do it tomorrow, yeah. 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 which would be so fun. It's giving Italian. Okay, we made it to where we're staying for the night. And it's so cute in here. The beach is literally right here. I'm gonna try to go out there in a bit. I haven't looked at the rooms yet, but seems super cute. Oh, oh, this is beautiful. Honestly, so vibey. Paint me like one of your French girls. How is your body twisted so weird? Oh, I'm a contortionist. Dylan actually lived on this peninsula. So it's like there's a bay and then there's a peninsula like on the ocean and Dylan used to live down the street from here so I'm gonna go see his old house and we're gonna walk around. Maybe we'll pour some wine and uh, you know, just hang out. We poured a glass of wine and we were just saying this place kind of looks like that movie, The Holiday. And it's on. You look like a Barbie. And there we have, yeah. There we you have Cameron like Diaz. You don't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> My ego is going to be through the roof for the rest of the night then. I look like that guy. Yeah, that's us still. <laughs> I feel like this is a good one to like ease into like a holiday though. There's like those movies that like ease in. And I feel like the holiday is one that like he's, isn't full he's Christmas so yet. Charming in this movie, you're just like, oh. mm -hmm. We're at the. Oh, wait, let me go this way. The yacht club for dinner. You used to do sailing classes. I broke two masts and quit. He hated it, but it sounds like a cool activity. Apparently Santa's over there. That's Santa. Santa's on the fire truck? Yeah. <gasps> Does Santa do go everywhere? Yeah. Like all over the country though? Like on his fire truck? Um, Cause they used to do it in my neighborhood. They probably growing have multiple up. fire trucks. Yes, Santa, you know. Santa has friends. Santa's in him and his friend. But I didn't know it was a thing that multiple fire trucks would carry Santa. Really? All over the country, I didn't know. He's cloned in a lab. Hmm. What our tax dollars are going to <laughs> Dinner was amazing. Now we're taking a little glass for the road so we can go look at Christmas lights. Welcome to Smasher Pass Holiday Home Edition. We've made it to the canals. So let's do it. This is juice, by the way. I will say, I'm liking the details on the roof, I think they look really nice. The color, the twinkle. I'm gonna give it a smash. Beautiful home, beautiful location. I'd like to see more lights. 
I'm unfortunately gonna have to pass. She's already down there. Smash. So what they? Cute, but pass. So one's a clear smash. We'll see why shortly. Snowflakes, beautiful touch. <laughs> no decoration, so pass. Hello. Smash. <laughs> Smash. Dilsa, what were your thoughts on that last one? So we just went to Santa's workshop, and I think he's working on a J. It did smell something that smelled a little suspicious. That workshop is going crazy. <laughs> okay, so fun fact. This house is filmed all the time as a double for Miami Beach um, houses. They use them in CSI. CSI. And a lot of television shows, movies. If you see it, you'll recognize it. Comment if you guys have seen this house on TV before. Stop by Santa's workshop. <laughs> okay, no, you didn't. <laughs> it's so cute. Hi. Oh, hi. I don't know if I did a proper outro or whatever, but we ended up walking on the beach, hanging out, and now we're about to head home. So thank you guys for watching. I promise it won't be as long until I make another video, and love you guys.